Many businesses continue to struggle financially due to COVID-19. While aid has been designated to help brick and mortar shops, those who run businesses out of their homes are asking why more assistance isn't being given to them. Jen Boniza reports. The city says it's doing its best to help as many small businesses as possible, but admit it's a challenge. That's a little consolation for home-based business owners who don't qualify for aid and say they need help. Alex Reinprecht owns Zone Media. He works out of his home, producing local shows focusing on water sports. He says his business needs help to stay afloat. We're just a regular business that employs people, that plays a, 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 a real important part in the, in the community. You know, uh, there's people that depend on us. And we pay our taxes, so why shouldn't we call us? Kobe Mosier owns Aria Studios, predominantly filming weddings. Mosier and Reinprecht don't qualify for the Small Business Relief Recovery Fund because they don't rent commercial space. Both received PPP loans. Now that that money is gone, they're afraid their businesses won't survive. I really hope that the state recognizes that there are so many small businesses that are hurting that just don't don't qualify, don't have a physical space. I just feel like they're not thinking about us. I feel like they're not, it's, we're not even on their radar. There are about 70,000 home-based businesses in Honolulu. The city says they're doing what they can to help small businesses, but it's an uphill battle. If you did the math, and if you say 40% of the 70,000 would get a grant, which has been our experience, We'd have to prepare $280 million of money, you know, to, to support that just for $10,000. Hawkins says they are trying to identify who needs help most. They are currently looking at developing aid for businesses in the culture and arts. Hawkins says home-based business owners should apply for the Individual Hardship Relief Fund. Log on to KHON2.com for more information. Jen Boniza, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.